Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video. And hard to believe the first major minor patch, if you will, is here for Dragonflight in World of Warcraft. So today, I know I'm a little bit late, I do apologize, but I have a 10.0.5 Marksman Hunter guide for you guys. It's going to be abridged compared to the normal guides, so let's get started. Mr. Eggplant presents... And I thought it was only fitting to have a small moment of silence there for Double Tap. It's been around since BFA. Hard to believe it's been two expansions already. But that's the main reason and the main difference from 10.0 to 10.0.5. And that really messes with a lot of builds for both single target and AoE. So we're going to be talking about those different talent builds. And then also looking at a new rotation priority. A new opener for single target. And then also an update to our stat weights. And then in chance i've got a, some quick macros and that sort of thing so let's go ahead and dive into the video and up first we have the talents for both single target and for mythic plus and then my go-to hybrid build uh, for a mythic plus dungeon particularly on tyrannical week this is usually the longest part of my video so i'm going to try to keep it short sweet and to the point and then since a lot of these are going to be uh, the same regardless uh, but i'll give you your options as we're going through and then there will be timestamps down in the description of the video if there's a certain section that you are looking for so let's start off with the hunter side of the tree first so we get kill shot We'll put two points in post haste, one in improved kill shot, two in natural mending, one in counter shot, one in survival of the fittest, one in misdirection, and that opens up the next part of the tree. You have an option here between lone survivor and nature's endurance. I always pick nature and nature's endurance. It just makes it so much stronger, and we are already kind of you know low on defensive cooldowns the way it is. Uh, Born to be wild, put two points there, two points in rejuvenating wind, and then I put one point in binding shot. And then that opens up this little section here. So one point in Hunter's Avoidance, two points in Pathfinding, and now we have to spend three more points to get down to the bottom part of the tree. And this is where you have options. The options I almost always pick are going to be Tar Trap to get to Trank Shot, and then I will put one point in Concussive Shot, but you could easily put that in just basically any of these other abilities, including Improved Trank Shot to give you some of that focus back. And that did open up the bottom part of the tree. So two points in Keen Eyesight, and then one one point in Death Chakram, two points in Master Marksman, one point in Serpent Sting, and now this is where we have options. We have five points left in the tree. For a single target build, we're going to run with Poison Injection, and then the best ability down here after that is going to be Steel Trap, and Steel Trap just gives you another bleed. You're already going to be getting supercharged bleeds with uh, Serrated Shots, which also makes your Serpent Sting uh, hit harder. However, I understand that not everybody enjoys Steel Trap, and and plus, if you're running with Steel Trap, you probably want to take that point out of Concussive Shot and put it into Improved Traps, or at least two of those, to get the cooldown lowered on that. Um, so what I tend to do, the, a good quality of life pick, is going to put two points in Arctic Bola. I know, it sucks, but it is what it is. Put one point in Explosive Shot, and then one point in Serrated Shots. This is, will sim lower than the other option. The other option, again... Uh, just switching these up, putting two points in serrated shots, one point in steel trap, and putting only one point in arctic bola. But usually at the end of the day, uh, quality of life tends to win out. But I guess for the sake of this video, I'll leave it right here the way it is. Let's go ahead and move over here to single target for your marksman hunter. So then we have one point in aim shot, one point in crack shot, one point in improved steady shot, and then two points in precise shots. Then put one point in Lone Wolf, then we'll do Rapid Fire, two points in Streamline, and then I pick Surging Shots just to make your Rapid Fire do that much more damage. Then we can come down here and put two points in Careful Aim, one point in Death Blow, and one point in Razor Fragments. This is where we would have picked Volley uh, last... Uh, not really even tier like at the beginning uh, because it was one point versus two points to get down to uh, true shot however we're going to now pick tactical reload uh, which just lowers the cooldown of aim shot and rapid fire which means we can get more of those out during a boss encounter then that does mean uh, we need to put one point in target practice, which opens up steady focus, which is now moved in the tree. So steady focus used to be down here. It just simply moved up here. So for pure single target, you do want to pick steady focus. And then you can go ahead and put one point in Serpent Stalker's Trickery. And then we can come up here and put two points in focus aim, which opens up the bottom part of the tree. 
actually only one point does. We'll put one point there for now. Then we'll put one point in True Shot, two points in Eagle Talon's True Focus, and then one point in Unerring Vision. Then that allows us to open up for Lock and Load, two points in Bullseye, and then we have three points left to spend. And my suggestion to you would put that point in your Focused Aim, and then put two points in Hunter's Knowledge. You could also put one point in Deadeye, and I've actually been playing around with Deadeye in my uh, Mythic Plus build, and it's got some nice quality of life here. But the highest simmed damage you're going to get from your uh, Marksman Hunter right now for single target will look something like this. Now, let's go ahead and uh, reset these pages reset all those and now let's go ahead and look at a mythic plus or an aoe build so again i'm just going to put points in here we kind of know what these points are going to look like based on you know it's pretty much cookie cutter at that point put one point there put one point there two points there now how many do we have to spend what one more i'll put one point in concussive shot why not then two points in keen eyesight then again, we go down to Death Chakram. You can pick between Hydra's Bite or Poison Injection. For a Fortified Week, I would suggest Hydra's Bite. For a Tyrannical Week, I would suggest Poison Injection to give you some nice hybrid build damage. And then we'll put two points in Arctic Bola, and then one point in Explosive Shot, and then one point in Serrated Shots. So see, exactly the same as it looks like for single target. There's really not a lot of options for us uh, on a Marksman Hunter, uh, at least on the Hunter side of the tree. And now let's go back over here and so put some more points in here can be pretty much the same for the most part only we're going to go down the left side of the tree instead of going down the middle first let's go ahead and put one point in surging shots get multi-shot trick shots you do pick volley here one point in death blow one point in razor fragments and then one point in your uh, target practice two points in focused aim and that opens up the bottom part of the tree and that's really what we want so then put one point in bullet storm and then one point in salvo so now we have to go ahead and fill out the rest of the tree. So one point in True Shot, two points in Eagle Talon's True Focus, still another point in Unerring Vision. And this is where I've been putting points in Deadeye since you're really not going to get a lot of value in an AoE situation with Steady Focus. The only only waste wasting in air quotes. One point would be Deadeye to get down here to Serpent Stalker's Trickery, but one point in Lock and Load. And then you have a couple of options. You can put one point in Wailing Arrow. You can put your point over here in Heavy Ammo or Light Ammo, or you can even put a point in Deadeye and, or a Bullseye, excuse me. And for an average run, I would suggest running with one point in Bullseye here, or even moving that up here to Tactical Reload, but really the choice is yours. And then speaking on a hybrid build. Uh, so for example, this last week as I was recording this, this is a tyrannical week. So I would put a point here in Poison Injection just to make sure I have a little bit of single target damage in my build. And then this is actually going to pretty much stay the same. So for example, I, I was doing a uh, Shadow Moon Burial Ground run. So I would definitely want to do uh, Poison Injection there, and then I would keep one point in Bullseye instead of putting it in Wailing Arrow. There's not a lot of stuff that we really need Wailing Arrow for in that run. And then that way I have that little bit bonus last like oomph damage uh, on bosses. And then uh, other than that, this is a pretty strong build. I do like Deadeye in a Mythic Plus situation because it gives you a little bit of bonus damage uh, on bosses. And that's really where we're going to falter. Our damage is amazing for AoE, not as good for single target. Uh, so this is my hybrid build that I'm currently running in Keys. Please let me know what you think about it. Leave me your feedback down below for any of these builds or any of the video. And let's go ahead and go to the next section. And these next two sections are going to be the rotation priorities for both single target and then for AoE. And Marksman Hunter for several expansions now hasn't really had like a strong like uh, rotation. It's all a priority system. So that would look something like this for single target. Making sure you're using those kill shots on cooldown even if they proc during your true shot. That should be the only other thing other than a 100% chance crit arcane shot to use during your true shot windows. Steady shot in pairs if you are running with steady focus. Try to keep that haste buff around uh, 75 or 80% 
or better of the time, then make sure you use rapid fire on cooldown. It's very strong for us now. We wanna make sure you're using rapid fire as much as possible, even if it does cap your focus. Use death chakram on cooldown and delay only a little bit if your true shot is getting ready to come off of cooldown. If you're running with steel trap, make sure you're using it on cooldown and it's a priority below 20% health since those bleeds will do so much more damage that it puts on. Then if you are picking volley for single target or explosive shot, make sure you use it here in the number six slot. True shot on cooldown, it does give you that bonus crit chance and bonus crit damage thanks to, of course, unerring vision. Then we have aim shot. Of course, it's our tried and true. It's gonna be most of the damage we do unless you're in a mythic plus scenario and that's probably gonna be explosive shot. Just make sure you're using uh, aim shot on cooldown just enough so that you do not let your aim shot cap on charges since it does have a two charge cap. Then if you are running with Wailing Arrow or even if using Readiness, make sure that you are using all of your aim shots and rapid fires and be close to as full focus as possible before using that Readiness Wailing Arrow. And then make sure that you are using those Arcane Shots to dump precise shot procs. And our tier bonus set does uh, make those 100% chance to crit for the four set uh, on, on hit. I think it's a 15% chance on white hits to do that. And then also if, they are, if the Arcane shot or multi shot or even chimera shot does crit it does make your next aim shot cause the target to bleed for 40 percent of that damage over five or six seconds so they become very important and move up the priority list and then finally use steady shot as needed for focus regeneration if you did take that talent over in the marksman hunter tree and now looking ahead at the AOE rotation priority, and this hasn't really changed too much since the beginning of the expansion. So make sure that you are using those kill shots on cooldown if you have the death blow uh, proc so it gives you razor fragments. Uh, otherwise, you'll want to make sure and serpent sting as much as possible. And if you have Hydra's Bite plus Serpent Stalker's Trickery, it'll automatically spread three of those dots for you. Uh, explosive shot on cooldown, but make sure you have at least three plus targets. I have a nasty problem problem still of using it on like one or two targets and should have just held it for a big pack just a little bit later on and then use your rapid fire on cooldown and make sure whenever I say uh, rapid fire or multi shot that you have trick shots up first that way it will uh, ricochet and bounce to those other targets and do some massive amounts of damage. Coming in at number five, then make sure we're using Death Chakram on cooldown. And like with single target, delay it just a bit if True Shot's about to come up, but I would never delay it more than 10 seconds. Use your volley on cooldown, and if you have macroed that together with Salvo, since we can control Salvo now, uh, you'll basically, every time you throw your volley, you'll have Salvo and be able to do so much more damage. Then we make sure you use your true shot on cooldown, and much like with single target, you have unerring vision, so you're gonna get bonus crit chance and damage. Then we're gonna use multi shot to get us trick shots, uh, otherwise volley will give trick shots for free for six seconds. And then uh, we also use multi shot to to uh, dump your precise shot procs, and those can actually do quite a bit of damage, which is Bullet Storm. Then all the way down here, it seems weird to see aim shot down here at number nine, but there's just so many different abilities that we need to front load and then just have aim shot carry us home to victory with uh, so much of that bonus damage. And like rapid fire, make sure you have trick shots up uh, before you cast your aim shot. And then finally, if you are using Wailing Arrow, uh, which some dungeons you probably will, some dungeons you won't, just depending on your group comp, just use that on cooldown or use it for priority interrupts and AOE interrupts. You'll probably not be running with readiness, uh, but if you are, just make sure you've used all your aim shots and all of your rapid fires before, and be close to be full focus before you actually uh, fire off that wailing arrow. And then finally, much like with single target, steady shot as needed for focus regeneration, only if you have taken the talent to do so. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an opener to try to get the most damage possible out of your Marksman Hunter at the very beginning of the fight to help you carry through the rest of the fight. So in this build, I will have a puzzle box since it is our best trinket by far. Even a low item level puzzle box will be very effective for you on your Hunter. And then I will be running with steady focus in this particular opener, but I don't start stacking it until after my true shot is out. 
So an opener would look something like this. Use your puzzle box with about four seconds left on your pull timer, then pre-cast your aim shot with about two seconds left. Then you'll use your steel trap or explosive shot if you've taken either of those. Then you'll use death chakram volley there if you've taken it. Uh, I will not be in the opener, but if you do, there you are. And then you'll use a rapid fire and then you'll use your true shot aim shot macro. So it'll have any of your uh, consumables or any of your racials. Like I have a racial that will be in there and it gives me an aim shot and a true shot. Then rapid fire aimed aimed rapid fire and so on and so forth. And then you wanna make sure and use any proc to kill shots during that. So let's go ahead and see what that would look like. That's just a basic opener for you to practice with, and uh, I don't have any uh, raid buffs, I don't have, you know, uh, PI or bloodlust, anything like that. And now let's look at the stat priority. So weapon DPS is still king. Uh, the only thing I would say is more important than weapon DPS is getting your hands on the Razageth bow. So a 418 Razageth bow will most likely be the BIS weapon for you if you are a heroic raider. Uh, otherwise, the mythic version is the best one to go with then your main stat which is going to be of course the agility then the one main change is going to be mastery leapfrogging crit strike so you want to get as much mastery as possible as for crit i had initially said like 30 to 35 percent i think i'm working on 38 percent right now so i would try to get to 35 35 40 somewhere in there that would work quite nicely as long as you're not sacrificing mastery then versatility then haste and versatility does become more important the higher you go up the key ladder for uh, Mythic Plus and in PvP. And if you are a Mythic Plus Marksman Hunter, you know we have literally like paper skin and paper armor. So uh, versatility is very important. I would try to drop all haste if possible or even drop some of that crit strike to get those double mastery and versatility pieces in your build. Now let's take a look at the consumables and enchants for you on your Marksman Hunter here in 10.0.5. So for your flask, otherwise known as files now, you want to go with an AoE damage uh, glacial fury file or the versatility file if you need a little bit uh, more damage but also more survivability. That is my go-to right now just because of how uh, paper skinned we are, like I said earlier. Uh, for your pre-pot, using a fleeting elemental potion of ultimate power obviously those are super expensive but they are our best one then food go with your uh, mastery versatility uh, secondary stat buff or the horde of draconic delicacies it just gives you i believe it's 76 of your main stat for your cloak for your bracer you want to make sure and go with avoidance because we need all the help we can get defensively so graceful avoidance for your cloak and on your bracers devotion avoidance and then on your chest, go with waking stats. For your boots, I pick Plains Runner's Breeze. And for your rings, Devotion of Mastery, since Mastery is our best stat. Obviously, with all these, you want to try to get rank 3. Those are going to be the most, uh, most expensive, but the, the best... Um, boost to your overall damage and then for your weapon make sure you use a high intensity thermal scanner from engineers thank you zaft and this last section is going to be very short it's going to be all of the weak auras and the macros that i use on my marksman hunter so on the screen right now is the macros that i have including a salvo macro for your volley i would definitely use that if you use anything there and then go ahead and just like pause the video so you can write them down that was, seems to be the easiest way to share those with you guys and then as for the weak auras they are found in a text document over on my discord there's a link in the discord down in the description uh, down below and you can basically download all of the ones that I ever make and I put them in one text document look for that in the weak auras and add-on section and let's go ahead and finish this video up and that's my guide so I did not do a 45 minute guide this time I promise you guys I would stop doing that and I promised myself I would stop doing that 
And so un unless I make the talent section shorter and just say, do this, do this, do this, I think 20 minutes is probably going to be the bare minimum for me, which I guess is good for the YouTube algorithm. I don't know. Uh, but all overall, my thoughts for season one Marksman Hunter right now. Uh, we're actually, as of me recording this, we're getting a 5% buff to our damage. All hunters are getting this buff, though. Uh, so that will be nice. I really don't think we need more damage. Our AoE is really good. Our single target is middle of the road. We have a really nice burst potential, but it's kind of middle of the road. Uh, but our really big problem, it's a glaring problem, particularly with this first set of Mythic Plus dungeons, particularly the higher you go, is our survivability. And I obviously know... That's not just me saying that. There, We have very few uh, cooldowns to begin with. There is that meme going around. It's, I shared it a bunch on my Discord. Uh, there's just, we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of defensives and the ones that we do have have long cooldowns. So unless you have a Warlock in your group and you have that extra little health stone to help you out a little bit more, we're really reliant on having really great healers or just being in a dungeon that does not have a lot of unavoidable damage. So I would just doing tyrannical plus 20 halls of valor uh this last week and that really sucked hersia is very difficult just because even if we do everything correctly we're turtling through one section we're doing baller dps we just seem to fall short with our defensives so i would really like to see blizzard uh, help us out with either another defensive of some description or lowering the cooldowns of the defensives that we have. I do know that that has some issues when it comes to uh, tuning for PvP and trying to make sure that everybody is equal, but that's just kind of my thoughts on the matter. I'm still really enjoying my Marksman Hunter. I know it's not the flavor of the month right now, particularly once you get your four set and Razagast bow. Most people are going to go move over to Beast Mastery, and that is totally fine. I'm going to continue to make Marksman Hunter videos for you guys all expansion long. I have been not uh, not really uploading nearly as much. I do apologize for that. I've really been trying to work on my mental health and work on my IRL Greeley versus my character Greeley over these last couple of months. I think it's, I've seen a lot of great improvements. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for uh, all your support. I would love to hear feedback from you guys. Feedback is king. Please join my Discord. I cannot wait to chat with you guys soon. I'll have some more kill videos, some pet battles, Mythic Plus, you name it. We're going to do it. Hopefully Razageth goes down on Heroic very soon. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.